Good morning, Jack to Nerdy fans. Jeremy here with my non spoiler review for the latest romantic comedy film, Love Again. Before I jump into that review, though, as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy our content, please make sure you give these videos a thumbs up. That lets us know that you guys are enjoying the content that we are putting out there and it encourages us to keep going. Also, uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you head on over and check out our eBay store. Mrs. Jack and Nerdy has been very hard at work with her mystery box videos and uploading all of those items you see on those videos onto our eBay store, available for you guys to purchase if you so choose. So, with that out of the way, love again. Now, uh, if you saw my initial out of the theatre reaction, uh, you would know I'm not the biggest romantic comedy fan. Um, you know, in, in the sense that I don't go out of my way to watch a lot of these types of films. I do enjoy the occasional odd one, uh, but it's very far and few in between. As I said, I don't go out of my way to watch this genre of film. But, that, uh, but I thought this week I'd do something a little bit different uh, and put something out there for the, not only for the ladies, but for all the, uh, the fellas out there who may be uh, trying to think of ways to score a few brownie points with the missus. Or if you've got a date coming up, um, I can wholeheartedly recommend this film. So uh, if you're looking for a bit of a, a, you know, a date night kind of scenario, definitely book a nice restaurant, have a nice dinner, and then take your missus out to see this film. She will love it. She'll enjoy herself, and it will give you some uh, brownie points on the scoreboard for later on down the line. Or if you you know if you've met someone and you're looking to take them out on a bit of a, a date, uh, you know you want to go see a, a fun movie. Um, this is definitely one that both of you will enjoy too. It does have <laughs> it does have sorry it does have uh, both obviously romantic elements, comedic elements. It's got things that both. Uh, men and women will love and enjoy. Um, it's a quite a an interesting film. So uh, again, if you watch my out of the theatre reaction, um, I didn't see a lot of press or promo for this film. It kind of came out of the blue, very much for me and uh, personally. I f I saw the first trailer for it about th roughly three weeks ago when I was out uh, seeing The Pope's Exorcist. It was the first and only time I ever saw a trailer for this film. But automatically, the way that the film was marketed, it uh, caught my attention and obviously drew me to do this uh, review for you guys. Um, so if you're not familiar with the premise... Um, here's a rough, rough generalization, not giving any major plot points away, but basically, uh, he is, uh, you know, uh, not really in the loving mood. His, uh, partner left him in quite a nasty breakup. Her partner died quite suddenly and she's still dealing with the loss and grief of his passing. Uh, as a way of dealing with that grief, she uh, keeps texting his old mobile phone number, things about her day-to-day -day life uh, to make her feel like he's still there and still listening. He gets a brand new mobile through work and the number is the same as the old past boyfriend. So her text, instead of going out into the ether, he starts receiving her texts out of the blue um, and basically falls in love with her without even knowing who she is. Uh, he then decides to obviously try and track her down and meet her and everything ensues from there. So just a very brief uh, overview. Um, so I found this premise really intriguing. I'd never heard of it before. I thought it was quite new. I've just learned that this is based off a novel uh, by Sophie uh, Carmer, uh, C-R-A-M-E-R, Sophie Carmer. I'm, I'm probably butchering, butchering her name. Uh, and there was also a 2016 German film based off of that book as well. So it's um, so it's been done a couple of times. You know, it's not a completely original idea. But even still, I'd never heard of it before, and I thought it was 
quite fresh uh, and engaging. Um, so they did a really good job with the casting. Obviously, we um, you know if you've watched the trailers a lot, you got Priyanka, uh, Priyanka Kapoor, Jonas, uh, Sam uh, Hugan. Hugan, I'm not overly familiar with. E I mean, Priyanka. Obviously, I know she's married to the Jonas Brothers, um, as I've seen her on the Netflix uh, roasting of the Jonas Brothers. But I'm not overly familiar with her work. I've never, I haven't seen her in much. I know she's in a, re a, a new uh, series called Citadel, which I haven't gotten around to watching, but I will do so in the next couple of days. Um, same with Sam. I'm uh, the co-lead. I'm not overly familiar with his work, but he did a fantastic job. Um, we got Celine Dion as herself in the film which is really uh, refreshing and uh, I thought she did a great job um, also Nick Jonas does a cameo uh, we've got uh, Sophia uh, Barclay who I thought was really really good uh, and Russell uh, to Tovey I'm not again I'm not overly familiar with his work so uh, to me there was a lot of unfamiliar names in this or at least names that I was familiar with but I've never really seen much of their work so it was quite refreshing um for that element uh you know um, and you know it, it was really good like so the scripting was really really good in this um there was nothing that I could really fault that really kind of took me out it was quite, you know, it, everything seemed to move along very nicely. It moved along at a very steady pace. There weren't moments where I was feeling bored or I thought that the story wasn't moving along. Um, I also thought the cinematography in this film was really, really good in the sense that it's set in New York and they used a lot of um, big open shots of the cityscape and, and um, you know, all that to kind of... You know, almost have the city as part of a character as well, which I thought was really, really good and really quite beautiful. Um, really made me, you know, miss New York. I've been there once before and I've, I've been dying to get back. So it really did kind of um, help kind of bring uh, another element to it as well. Um, obviously, you've got uh, shots in Central Park and, and the Opera House and things like that. So it was really, really good. Um, what's really interesting is um, at the moment, it's got an IMDb score of 5.9. Um, which is interesting, and a Rotten Tomatoes score of 23%. So it's not scoring too well on the Rotten Tomatoes side of things. And in the middle there on IMDb, I actually think this does deserve a, a bit of a higher score. Um, I'm leaning more towards 7, uh, seven 7.5. Um, yeah, I had a great time. I did really enjoy the film. Uh, I, I, you know, I didn't feel bored. You know, um, oh, I wasn't the kind of the the nail there scoffing at everything, thinking, oh, yeah, you know, you know uh, it, it, it didn't fall into the usual tropes that these romantic comedies fall into. You know, it, it, it's, um, I didn't find myself thinking, oh, this is going to happen and that's going to be said and blah, 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 you know. So it was quite, uh, I found it quite enjoyable. Uh, it had a very modest budget of only $9 million, which, um, you know, which actually I'm actually surprised. I thought it would be slightly higher, but I wasn't expecting it to have a very high budget because it did have just a very small cast and it was a very simple premise. Uh, but that being said, uh, I I thought I think this is fantastic. So, if uh, you guys, um, you know, again, if you're looking for just a nice little date night movie or anything like that, please feel free to go out and check out uh, Love Again. You will not be disappointed. Also, stay tuned on the channel. This is not the only review that we're going to be putting up this week. Um, we're also going to be going to see uh, Hypnotic uh, in a couple of days' time, which is the new Ben Affleck movie. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I have, again, it hasn't had a lot of press uh, and a lot of um, promoting, so I'm really excited to go and see that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, so that way you guys never miss out on the video. And if you do enjoy our content, give it a thumbs up. But more importantly, until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.